worried about oh, everyone's opinion, yeah, you're gonna get it. People are trying to convince me out of it and people still did. They're scared that you may make a decision that you may regret. And that just comes with being ignorant. Do I recommend it? No. Absolutely not. I am officially on the other side of surgery. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jacob. I'm a beauty boy turned beauty boss and I create a lot of vlog content and makeup tutorials on here. So if that's your vibe, be sure to subscribe. 12 days ago now, I had gastric bypass surgery. I obviously took, you know, the last week off of vlogging just so that way I could like recoup and focus on healing and focus on establishing a little bit of a routine now that I've been at home for nearly two weeks and as you guys know i am such a uh how do i say it workaholic me being at home and not being at work or not having a million and one things to do is driving me crazy but also being quite nice to like to stop and smell the roses for just 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 for a second just for a second don't get crazy now we're not going to be doing this for much longer <laughs> I hope. for the first time in I don't know, coming up to like two years. I've been bored. Boredom is the one thing that I absolutely despise because there is so much to life. But at the same time, when you are bored is when you create. So over the last, you know, week and a half that I've been home now, I've been painting a lot. I've been journaling. I've been drumming up new business ideas and ready to return to work. Yeah, absolutely. But I actually went into the studio to drop something off for the girls. Came home and I slept for two hours because I was exhausted. Mum and I are now at the stage of our diet where we are on thick pureed diet so we aren't really like we're still blitzing everything with like the bar mixer or like the like in a blender really take your time with things because there have been a couple times already that we've like eaten too quickly and then it's just sat here for like hours and hours and hours and it's just one mouthful that you had that you fucked up on the one thing that i've been really really struggling with throughout this whole process is my water intake it's tricky because you're eating every let's say every two and a, two to two and a half hours like you're having a snack you're having something so you need to wait half an hour before you eat that snack and then half an hour after before you can drink anything so i've really got like an hour hour and a half window to get as much fluid in as i can it is a little bit tricky i have lost fat i have lost some water weight 13 kilos kilos down as of filming this. Today is the 1st of October. However, I have stalled. Two weeks through to seven weeks is when your body may stall or plateau in weight loss because your body's healing. It, it's a pretty major surgery that you've just had and mum's going through the exact same thing as well. Aside from the tiredness and the occasional lightheadedness, that that still pops up in terms of my incisions like there isn't a lot of pain my actual stomach itself isn't in any pain i don't feel like i've been working out for a week straight like i did at first welcome to another weekly vlog i'll show you guys what i've been up to post-op and in running my business remotely it's been very interesting and quite hard but also kind of fun at the same time <laughs> weather today is absolutely beautiful currently 20 degrees outside blue skies sun shining and i'm stuck inside you guys know that journaling has literally been like my saving grace when you are writing you are cognitive about what you're actually putting on paper for example let's say that i'm say that i'm invited to an event and i'm nervous right i'll be writing about it i'll be like okay but what if people think i'm a fucking idiot what if i say something that embarrasses myself once you start to kind of break down those thought patterns on paper you realize how fucking crazy it sounds. Kind of catch yourself and you're like, oh my God, this isn't even a fucking problem. It's such a good way to allow yourself to process what you're thinking, what you're going through, what you're feeling it has stopped me from spiraling so many times. Everything I have gone through from breakups to friendship breakups to starting my business, everything is documented in here. And I love that. I love that. Here's how to journal, okay? You don't need to be like, dear dad, Today I had a piece of toast. It's not that deep. Like I literally just write the date and then I write, today I'm fucking pissed off. Blah, blah, blah happened. She fucking said this. He said that. Drink bottle fucking broke today. Like it can just be the most random shit. When I talk to people about journaling, they're always like, no, but like I just put so much pressure on myself. Like it needs to be perfect. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. Like no one's looking at it. This isn't school. People are so used to like things being perfect in margins and titles and dates and this and that, like everything being perfect because that's what we were taught at school, right? You need to write as if you're just venting. Yeah. She did, uh, I didn't ask. I was thinking about that.
Good shit. Today is two weeks post op, which means that from today onwards, we can start to have soft foods. I'm gonna attempt lunch. So this is tuna dip, which is Philadelphia cheese, can of like a large can of tuna, shit ton of spring onions, salt, pepper, and lemon. And it's the best thing ever. It's so freaking good. And these tomatoes need to be cut so small. How are you feeling, mum? I'm okay. You haven't updated the three people watching in um, a while. I'm okay. Getting we're we're getting there. Yeah. 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 Just very tired. That looks really good. I'm so nervous. Okay, I have to take small bites. Ready? Is it good? It's so fucking good. <laughs> oh, your stomach. Did you hear that? <laughs> the crust gets melt straight away. Do they? Mm. Good shit. Fresh. Right. It's cold and fresh. Good morning, today is Saturday the 5th of October and we have our like follow-up appointment with our surgeon today. I was gonna vlog the checkup. It just, it was just, yeah, no, nah, didn't happen. So I thought I would sit here and chat with you guys a little bit. I go back to work in a week and a half now and I am excited. I'm so excited to get back into the swing of things. At the same time, I am feeling a little bit nervous because Obviously, like when I'm at work, I have to be very, very focused on what I'm doing. At the end of the day, it's my business. So I feel like I I have to be, I have to be on, I have to be, you know. And I know that it's gonna take a little while for my energy to come back. That can take like weeks. It can take a couple months. Everything will be fine. I know it will be fine. And I know that now that we are onto the soft foods stage of our diet. Solid food is just around the corner, which means that hopefully, you know, the smelling, internal smelling has started to go down and I'll be able to hold more food in my stomach. And that means that I'll have more energy. And, and I, honest to God, have definitely noticed that I have had a lot more energy over the last maybe five days or so. And we've only been on soft foods. This is the third day. Now, I feel like I should touch on external opinions because I touched on it in my very, very first video where I announced to you guys that I was doing this. If you are on this journey yourself and you're worried about oh, everyone's opinion, yeah, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. I didn't tell anyone up until like, maybe like a week before surgery because I just didn't wanna fucking hear it. I didn't want people to try and convince me out of it. And people still did and that's okay. Like that comes from a place of love and they care for you and they don't want things to go wrong and they don't want you to, that I wanna see you suffer, I guess. That can also be looked at through the lens of jealousy. So it depends how you wanna look at it, right? I, t I like to look at it a little bit more optimistically. Like, you know, it just comes from a place of love, da da da. Whether they're jealous or not, I have no, and I don't give a fuck. 99% of the time, it comes from a good place and these people just want you to be okay. People fear the unknown and people are gonna be like, why, what for? You can do it naturally. Have you tried this? Have you tried that? I've got a friend, who she lost 15 kilos. Everyone knows someone, right, that can help. And it's not to say that those things don't work because obviously they do. Trainers and nutritionists are so important. I think what has helped me so much is the fact that I educated myself a lot on the nutrition side of, of food. That just comes with being on every fucking diet under the sun. And having my cousin Olivia, who is a personal trainer, and she is about to start studying nutrition as well. She's broken things down for me, and for my mom, so much. I'm so grateful to have someone like that who I can just call up and be like, hey, what the fuck is whey protein? Cause I don't fucking know. Stuff like that has been really nice to kind of be able to call on people for. But at the same time, and I'm not saying you need to go on every crash diet there is because no, that's, that's, that's not the answer for everyone. I don't really know where I was going with that. But in terms of people's opinions, like you just need to remember that people care for you and they're scared that you may make a decision that you may regret. And that just comes with being ignorant, right? That just comes with being ignorant to the facts and the statistics of having the surgery. And people are ignorant because it's not in your normal scope of knowledge. Like, like unless you're researching and looking it up, there's no reason for you to know information about the surgery and the aftercare and how it all works. Of course, they're gonna be concerned. Of course, they're gonna, they might have something to say that you may not like or agree with, but take it with a grain of salt. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm sure my family and my friends have all said to each other, they're fucking crazy. But you know what? Who has to live with me for the rest of my life? 
me. So those kinds of things never really like affected me, you know? Is it annoying to hear? Yes. Are you gonna hear it? Yes, get used to it. It's one of those things, like I remember when I first did my hair transplant and everyone, like why the fuck are you getting a hair transplant? You're 22 years old. And I was like, no, 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 I need it, trust me. And now they look back at photos and they're like, oh my God, Jacob, that's the best thing you ever did. Like, look, look how bad it was. Yeah, yeah, see? Then people start to get it. And like I said, that just comes down to people caring for you. But you don't really owe anyone an explanation either. My family and friends have all known how that I've struggled with my weight ever since I was like, well, what did I say in my video when I was like 13? It's a long time, it's a long ass time. And I am the kind of person Person where I say I'm doing it, it's happening. You know what I mean? I'm not a very impulsive person like that, which it may seem the opposite to some people because obviously this is quite a drastic surgery, but like it was about a year and a half of research and finding doctors and asking people questions who have also had it and gathering information about it. Do I recommend it? No. Absolutely not. But if you feel like your hands are tied and you have health issues, then I don't see why it's such a bad idea. I was probably a month away from going onto, onto cholesterol medication. Now here's the thing, I was a binger, bad, right? But the thing is I wouldn't binge on shit all the time. I would binge on like rice crackers, cheese sticks, and like dip, like stuff like that. But the thing is that overconsumption of calories caused me to gain weight. And then when you gain weight, that's when health issues start to come up because of weight gain. And I also just want to clarify as well, like I'm not making this series to encourage or promote this. I was always going to vlog this. Did I think that I was going to put it on the internet? I actually didn't. I have shared so much of my life on the internet. I think this is the one thing that I just wanna keep personal to myself. But then the thing is people start seeing that I'm like dropping weight. I just didn't wanna be like, oh no, like just watching what I'm eating. And like, I had my fucking stomach stapled in half. You know what I mean? So yeah, originally I wasn't even gonna like make a series or nothing. Like I was just gonna be like, nah, this is between me and the man upstairs. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Like I've got nothing to hide. And I, <laughs> another reason why I thought I might as well just do it is because with my clients, I'm such an open book. Like if you guys are one of my clients watching this, you know, like I tell you guys everything. That's what makes, me and my clients like family, you know what I mean? Or I should say us and our clients because Denisha is the exact same. You really think I'm gonna lie to their face and be like, oh, I just work out all the time now. Yeah, that just didn't really sit very well with me. I've got nothing to hide. People who have nothing to hide, hide nothing. And I'm not gonna lie, having some time off work has been really nice. Sorry, I shouldn't say time off work. I should say working from home. It's been so nice to have like a little mid-year break because we obviously work from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. Like there's no, no, no stops, no stopping. So having the last, you know, little bit of time off to myself has actually been really nice. Am I bored? Like I said earlier, absolutely. I mean, look at me. And I hope you guys love my makeup content that I've been like shooting and editing and uploading for you guys. I know that I originally started my channel doing makeup content. I know that I've been doing a lot of lifestyle, a lot of vlog stuff. If you guys want to just see more of this, let me know. Love vlogging. It's so much fun. And even editing it and getting it all like put together. It's so nice to have like a, a little bit of a creative outlet that isn't just doing makeup or brows or lashes. Now it's time for the fun part, the silver leaf. You get two grams of product. This was $30. You need such little product. It's gonna last me years. The only thing is it's so fucking fragile. A water-based adhesive. Literally just drape it over that area. And then I use the back of that brush to just like break it up and get it to stick. <laughs> I think we're about two and a half weeks post up now. And I'm currently en route to run a couple errands. Oh, they're building a 7-Eleven. How disgusting. Get myself together, do my brows, and just feel like myself again. I'm gonna have a little pampering day, I guess is the best way to put it. Haircut is done. Ah, I'm already feeling like myself again. I just feel so fresh. I feel like I looked like such a slob before. And now I look like less of a slob. So now I'm off to therapy. A little catch-up appointment after surgery. As of this morning, I am officially 15 kilos down. Oh my God. Crazy. So, so good. Makes me so happy. I'm already not fitting into clothes properly, which I was not expecting to happen two weeks out. Like everyone was like, the weight falls off you. But I'm like,
I feel like when I started going to therapy, it was always such a fucking drainer. Walk out feeling worse than I did when you walk in. But that's kind of how therapy works though. You need to go in there, open up the can of worms, and then you clean up the remnants of the can after. You know what I mean? Otherwise the worms just stay in and like they don't do anything but like make things worse. You know when you wake up from like the fattest nap and you're like, what year is it? Literally me. 10 minutes ago. I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I wanna film a huge decluttering my wardrobe after losing X kilos kind of video. I think that would be so much fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all of that good shit. I will see you guys soon.